Hey, what's up guys and welcome to episode two of my new series, Clean With Me. As you could probably tell, you'll get to see everything from my perspective. So let's have a look at today's vehicle. All right, so you guys might have already seen this vehicle on the main channel. It's a 2013 Ford Edge and the entire thing is incredibly dirty from driving on wet and dusty gravel roads. So looking around and you can see that almost every square inch of this vehicle is covered in dirt. And then moving inside and we've got some super dirty floor mats, a whole pile of vacuuming to do, some carpet to extract, and a dirty engine bay to detail as well. All right, and just before we jump into the video, take a quick second and subscribe to the channel. I post a new video every week, so make sure you turn on the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Okay, so as I get started on the pre-wash rinse here, I just wanted to welcome you to the video again and say that if you happen to watch episode one of this series, you'll know it's all about giving you a different perspective on my detailing and a different look and feel from the main channel videos. And I also figured I'd mention that this footage was shot a few months ago as it's currently in the middle of winter here in Canada and well below freezing. But at the time this was shot, the roads had been really wet and mucky. So this vehicle got extremely dirty on the outside as the owner works out of town and drives on grid roads a lot. Moving to the back here, and if you guys are curious as to what kind of pressure washer I'm using, it's a gas-powered Honda GC160, and then I use a 40 degree tip on the wand, and with the back completely covered in dirt like this, it's really important to try to get all the cracks and crevices sprayed out really well, so you can flush the dirt out, because if you don't, you'll just end up having dirt drip out later after you've got the vehicle washed. Now moving to the wheels, and when you get wheels that are this dirty, you really have to take your time when doing this initial rinse and make sure you spray from all different angles because it can be really easy to miss a little bit of dirt 
which would then end up getting rubbed all over the wheel when I use my wheel brushes, potentially scratching the wheels. And for any of you who might be wondering whether I spray the underside of the vehicle off, the answer is yes, of course I do. It's just not something I can get any sort of good angle on with my camera, and especially when I'm wearing the GoPro, when I do spray underneath, my head is turned almost upside down, so I can see what I'm doing and it really just doesn't make for good footage.
All right, so turning to all these dirty floor mats, and obviously the first thing I do is get them sprayed off with the pressure washer to get as much dirt and debris off as I can. And then this is one of those areas that I'll use my all-purpose cleaner diluted four to one on, which is heavy strength, and agitate them with my soft wheel brush to get them nice and clean. All right, moving inside this vehicle and starting on the vacuuming here, I'll work my way top down. So starting with the seats and always make sure to really stretch out those seams as that's where most of the dirt likes to hide. Starting on the floors here, and I know some of you have been curious as to why I only use the crevice attachment on my vacuum, and there's a couple reasons for that. One being that I don't want to be constantly switching attachments, because not only is that really annoying, but it's time consuming as well. And the second is because using the crevice attachment gives me just a little bit more suction over using a bigger one, and that's always nice to have. And if anyone is curious on the best way to get in between the seat and the console, make sure that area is clean. Just be sure to move the seats all the way up or back and use a narrow crevice attachment like this one to get in there. I haven't had a vehicle in yet where I wasn't able to get that area perfectly clean by doing that. All right, so getting started on the carpet here and using my pump sprayer, I'll get some of my Chemical Guys Fabric Clean Carpet Solution sprayed on and then agitated with the drill brush to get all that dirt loosened and lifted up to the surface where it can be easily sucked away with the extractor. And if you're curious as to exactly what I'm using here or where you can get it, 
I've got the links to almost every product and tool that I use when I'm detailing listed down in the description. So feel free to check those out if you guys are interested. So here's all the dirty water that came out of these carpets. Not the dirtiest I've seen, but there was a fair bit of crud that had already settled to the bottom. All right, so turning to the dirty engine bay now, and so the very first thing I do is completely disconnect the battery so there's no danger of anything getting wet and causing a short. Then I'll spray some degreaser pretty well over the entire engine bay, making sure to spray a bit more on the dirtier areas. Next, I'll use my soft wheel brush to agitate the larger, flatter surfaces, basically anywhere I can get this brush on. Then for the tighter areas, I'll use my smaller Speedmaster brush, and this works really well to get down into those spots where you can't possibly reach with your hand. Last up, I'll grab a small detail brush and get down into any of the crevices where my other brushes couldn't reach, like around the air filter where there's a ton of tiny little crevices that are full of dirt. Once everything has been agitated, I'll simply just use the hose to rinse everything off. And if anyone's worried about things getting wet, it's perfectly safe to do this as I'm not using high pressure water, which could lead to water getting forced somewhere it shouldn't be. Plus the fact that the alternator is covered in this engine. Really engines these days are built and designed in a way that they can handle being wet. I wouldn't recommend taking a pressure washer to it. What I'm doing here is completely safe. Once I've got everything rinsed off, I'll use my leaf blower to quickly dry things off and get the majority of the water dealt with. Then I'll just go over everything with a microfiber towel and make sure it's perfectly dry. Now to dress all the black, plastic, and rubber components in here, I'll quickly spray a bit of 303 protectant down and then go over everything with a microfiber applicator pad.
So here's the before shot. And after about 20 minutes of work, it's looking 10 times better. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed episode two of my Clean With Me series. I've got some really good episodes coming in the future, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Enjoy the guitar outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one.